Okay, so today I'm talking with Marco Gonzalez, my old friend and mentor from high school. We went to Kennedy High in Richmond. Marco, how are you? I'm doing great. All right. Good. Great. Good. Uh, thank you, Marco, for coming out today. I wanted to talk to you about the schools here in the West Contra Costa County Unified School District. What can you tell me? Well, there's a lot of great schools in this, in this district, and um, you know, you're going to find something uh, exciting and good going on at every school you go to. Now, you used to work for the schools, didn't you? I did. I was in our district for 35 years. Well, what did you do for the district? Well, a majority of my career, I was a, a, a elementary school principal at EM Downer at one time, and uh, spent time as I was a teacher. So let me ask you: If I, if I was going to, if I had kids in the, in the district, um, can I select which school my kids would go to? Well, uh, all students are initially uh, assigned to an elementary school within the boundaries of where they, depending on where they live. But there is a, a transfer process that happens in February, January or February that allows you to pick a school, and if there's space, you'll get in. And how, how common is that you can transfer? Uh, I, have, I couldn't tell you what the percentage is. Uh, some schools have more space than others. Mm -hmm. And these days, uh, you know, uh, we try to keep our classes full and trying to meet the needs and the desires of our, of our parents. What's the funding like for the schools nowadays? Uh, I think it's been pretty strong. Uh, in particular, most recently, there's been a community school uh, initiative that's putting uh, new money into schools and attempting to have make schools really the hub of a community and give more decision making uh, power to the parents. Uh, how safe is it to send your kids to school nowadays? Say in, in this school, this elementary school here at EM Downer. Uh, like this school, like all schools, uh, safety is the number one priority uh, for our students, for our parents, for the staff. So um, I think you can feel safe at every single school in our district. What, what do they do to keep the students safe? Yeah. Well, um, probably the biggest innovation in the last several years has been a single entry process. And even uh, preventing folks, you know, without IDs, without going through the office, uh, you just can't walk onto a campus anymore. And then I think the other side is also the social emotional, that there are numerous programs helping kids uh, who are struggling, you know, uh, whether it be making friends or feeling bullied, or you know something going on at home that makes them uncomfortable. And I, I think our schools have the program to serve that. But what about uh, drugs? Is there much drug use going on in schools? Well, um, you know, uh, my experience is most at, most at the elementary level. I can tell you what's happened at the secondary level, but again, you know, it's a safety issue. It's, uh, you know, uh, they're not allowed on, on campus, of course. Yeah. And uh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know that it's a big issue at all. Okay, well, let me ask you about uh, the district now as, as opposed to when you and I were going to school. We went to Kennedy High back in the 70s, and you know, Kennedy's really changed. Um, at the time it was an elite school, we had kids from all over, from you know, every walk of life, all the different races, it was very diverse and a very enriching environment. And now it looks like uh, Kennedy is, is sort of not, not thriving anymore. Why is that? Well, you know, I wouldn't say it's not thriving, I think it's just thriving in a different way. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a change in population. Uh, you know, demographics in Richmond have changed tremendously so that it's largely a uh, Latino, the you know, largest single population, the majority of our students are Latino now. And, um, you know, in sort of in a way, Richmond High has taken over that, which is nearby, has taken over that role as being a pretty unique school that has a full uh, range of, of services, of, of programs, uh, incredible music in, uh, program, robotics. They're sending kids to prestigious four year colleges. Uh, every year, um, and Kennedy is a smaller school, and it's sort of in a rebuilding phase right now. Yeah, well, I know they do have that great uh, welding program that my parents set up. Yeah, and um, I think there's people like Mike and others who, you know, like you and I, love uh, our experience at Kennedy High School and are trying to give back. Yeah, I know Richmond High's got a great uh, audiovisual program. I don't think they call it that anymore, media program now. Yeah. For kids to do video and stuff. 
I think it's one of many, like I said, the music program is outstanding. They have a marching band, a jazz band, a symphonic band, um, top rated uh, soccer team. Uh, uh, you know, again, uh, sort of has become the, the Kennedy of the Richmond district uh, in the Richmond area. Now, uh, let me ask you a tough question. If you were gonna send your kids to school, uh, would you wanna send them to a school here in Richmond or would you wanna send them to a private school? I'm a public school advocate. You probably knew that, knew that Greg. Uh, and I would say it because public school is not only mandated, but I think ethically people are understanding the need to serve all kids. And that includes students with special needs. And, um, um, you know, I think there's great things going on in every single school. Uh, the key is parent involvement, if, uh, and there's opportunities for, for, for parents to uh, monitor their own kids, as well as participate on student councils and, and uh, parent, parent uh, support committees. You know, when I was in high school, I came into Kennedy, I didn't know anybody, and Marco took me under his wing and mentored me. And I got to go to a lot of your senior parties too as a freshman. <laughs> well, I'm glad you survived. <laughs> Thanks so much, Marco. You're welcome.